or what is going on today guys and girls welcome back to the channel and in today's video i have a 200 wait no 320 <laughs> I have a 320 horsepower uh, 350Z here. Uh, we're going to do a build on this thing today. If you guys haven't seen it already, I have got the paint on here. Did do the paint up on the channel. This thing uh, looks hella nice. I really like the way how this thing came out. But yeah, now guys, hope you guys enjoy. Let's get straight into it. All right, guys, so we're off the bat here. I'm just gonna check this real quick. It is 320 horsepower, 390 newton meters of torque, and we got 1,213 kg as well. Um, so this this car, it, it's it's a bit of a pain, not gonna lie. The, the 350Z in this game is a pain to get slow. Um, but nonetheless, we have done it. You know, this thing does run pretty, uh, pretty well. It runs pretty slow, um, but at the same time, you know, it's... Uh, it, it's one of the like it keeps up with 450 cars pretty well um but then struggles a little bit on the slower cars but yeah not like like I say guys you know it's it runs fairly well just as a whole so uh we, yeah no we're gonna get straight to this so we've got obviously you can put the body kit on there if you want to obviously it's just gonna add a little bit of weight um i haven't actually seen this paint yet with the body kit but it looks pretty good it looks all right man it looks all right but yeah, no. <clears throat> so if you guys wanted to run that, that uh, apart from the front pieces there, front Tokyo Tams writing, but that's all good. All right, yeah, no, guys. So if you want to run that, you can. Like I say, just bumps up the kg a little bit. Um, we're running no turbos on this. No turbos, naturally aspirated in here. I'm running rear wheel drive, as you would expect, and stock engine in here. With stock engine in this car. Uh, going on to uh, air and appearance, you can have whatever you want. Obviously, you know have any of these sort of bumpers if you want to put them on that's absolutely fine same with the wings you know all that good stuff it doesn't matter um just gonna like i say it's just gonna level up that weight a little bit but like you say guys that's completely up to you um cracking on now let's go ahead in the tires <clears throat> tires uh tires and rims we've got the tire compound here obviously you want stock tire compound we don't want any uh any extra race tires or sport tires or anything like that because that's going to increase grip uh, front tire width, we've got that stock, as well as the rear tire width, also we've got that stock. Um, rims, you can have whatever you guys want. If you guys want to change the rims out, do uh, do some of that good stuff, you know you can. I threw these rims on Earth, looks pretty good, you know. One of my go-to rims that I like to put on cars. But yeah, no guys, whatever you guys want to put on there, once again, only going to affect the weight. But then you can sort that out as you go along. Tire rim size, uh, front rim size, I've left that stock, uh, like I say there. They're pretty large as it is, so if you guys want to bump that up again, all you got to worry about is the weight. But yeah, no, that can be fixed later down the line. So now we've got the front track width and the rear track width. Obviously, we're gonna max that out to make the car look as good as possible. Um, obviously, I can get that little extra width on the car itself. Right, drivetrain straight off the bat. We got race clutch. We got the race clutch in here. We have the race transmission and the race differential. Once again, unlocks all of that tuning, so we can tune the car and do whatever we need to do with it. We've got race brakes in here. We have, obviously, the drift suspension. Um, drift suspension on there. We've got the race anti-roll bars for the front and the rear. Both front and rear race anti-roll bars here. And then we've got the full cage, complete full cage there, race cage in here. And then for the weight reduction, we also have a race rate reduction in here, which isn't too bad. Once again, 1,200 kg is pretty nice for this car. It feels good. Not too bad on that. Right, anyway, straight in here, stock intake. We have this the stock manifold, throttle body, stock that, race fuel, no, <laughs> fuel systems. We've got stock, stock uh, fuel systems. Ignition stock, exhaust stock, cams. We got a sport cam in here. Valves. We got stock valves, stock displacement. I have got a feeling that it's all stock. Yep, stock pistons, stock uh, stock oil, and we got the race flywheel. So literally, all we got is the cams. We got sport cams in here. That's literally it. 
Um, so that's pretty good. Not too bad on that. Gives you the 320 horsepower. Once again, guys, it does feel pretty good on this car. Um, yeah, no, guys, that is pretty much the build. That is the build in the upgrade shop. Let's go ahead and jump into the tuning real quick. All right, so here, here we are, guys. Here's the tuning. So this car has a tendency of being really quick. I don't know why. It's just another one of those cars where it's just it just wants to be out as soon as you put the you know, foot down. So, you know, it's like the car, like the S15 with a stock, um, stock engine. That thing is out. The uh, RX-7, that thing is out as well. And the e, uh, E46, that is out as well. Those three cars are sort of like the main cars that are just, they're out, bro. They're just gone. As soon as you put your foot down, no matter stock tires, you know, 45 PSI in the, on the tires, you know, um, or full negative five on the, on the camber, everything like that, bro. It doesn't matter. They're gone. They're just, they leave you, yeah. Anyway, it's like they've gone nitrous or something, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, no, uh, 55 PSI on both uh, front and rear tires on here. We've got gears, uh, three uh, three on the file and drive, 3.00. On first, we've got 3.99. Second, we got 2.66. Third, we've got 2.10. Fourth, we've got 1.44. Fifth, we've got 1.18. Sixth, we've got 1.04. Once again, guys, if you want to have a look at this, be sure to pause the video so that way you can see exactly what these are because I know I went through that pretty quickly. But anyway, straight onto alignment. We've got negative five in both front and rear. Like I said, guys, want to make that thing as slow as possible, and this definitely helps out. Um, little tip here, if you want to have a slow car, rear, uh, negative, you like say you're negative, you, when you put uh, more camber in the back, it makes the car a hell of a lot slower. But also on some cars, you've got to be aware of it will spin out. Some cars, it will spin you out if you have negative five on both front and rear. But anyway, guys, straight on the toe, uh, front toe, we've got 1.0 degrees, and rear uh, toe, we have negative 0.2, and in the angle, I put it 6.5. Once again, guys, completely up to you. I prefer it on 6.5 if you want to run seven. That's absolutely fine. Um, not, not an issue there. Anti-roll bars, I leave. Springs, I leave. Dampers, I leave. I don't touch any of that stuff. Um, probably should, but I haven't. 60% uh, on the front balance. Uh, this is for the brakes, sorry guys. But uh, we've got balance 60%, and on the uh, braking force with pressure, we've got 50%. 50% on that, so that way when you go into a drift with your buddies, you don't slam right into them, or when you brake, you don't stop the whole entire train behind you. So yeah, guys, that is your brakes sorted out, and then the differential, you've got 100% on both. Fill 100 that. Front acceleration and a de acceleration, 100%, 100, 100, 100, done. All right, let's go ahead and go and test this thing out. All right, so guys, we're going to go ahead and hit this track real quick. Um, I'm going to do a slightly different track, like say that, that circular barriers that's in front of me right here. I should probably clear that out before doing this, but who knows? Who cares? You know what I'm saying? We're just going to smash right through it. Um, but yeah, now guys, let's get it. All right, so guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe button if it at all helps you out at all. You know, leave me, leave me, like, leave me a comment down below. You know, let me know. Let me know if it helped you out. Let me know if you like the build. You know, let me all that. You know, let me know all that good stuff. If you want to uh, get this tune, it's obviously all of this stuff is all up on my um, on my storefront in the game. So be sure to check in my description down below my gaming tag is down there i'll be able to uh like I say hook you up with all the designs everything like that you'll be able to get that all on my storefront but yeah now guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time